Who is that? Um, it is now 12.40. Um, and uh, I woke up about an hour ago, but I didn't actually get out of bed. Um, I've been video editing. That's why I, I'm put, I was uploading yesterday's vlog. And oh, you know, Friday's vlog, and then I really don't like that video, so I'm also gonna put the Carl Secret video up um sometime today because I just really don't like that vlog. It's really trashy. You can't hear anything. It's really boring. I hate that vlog. And I also didn't record, like, any. It was a good length. That's the only thing I like it. Like, 15 minutes is what I try and aim for. But then I record, like, 5, 10 minute clips. And then I have, like, 2 hours of footage. It's like, how, how, how did I, why, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> so. Ooh. Yeah, the price is just a random, it's just a random energy card on my desk with no context at all. Like, literally, all my Pokemon cards are put away. It's like this one. Freaking energy. What the heck? I'm putting all my energies in this box. Because that just makes my life easier than having them in, like, seven different little tiny boxes. Like... I was storing them in these before. Just because I had no use for the little tiny mini boxes. Um, I know I could put like actual cool stuff in the cool box, but I don't have that much cool stuff, okay? <laughs> and I would put, like, I would just put my Pokemon cards in the cool box, but like, I, I organized my, I put them on in a binder, so be trying to find the end of the fighting energies. This is an all energy, so it also has my duplicates. Ah, see. That's right to where this one goes. So it's like this is all energies. I ran out of room, but there's only a little tiny bit left, so I scooted them over. And then these are all my duplicates. <laughs> and I I bet someday I'll have to move the energies out and just fill it with duplicates. Um, but whatever, you know. For now, the energies are going in there. I mean, I could have fit all my trainers in here, but... Meh. I like this better. Also, weird thing about this box, I, I don't know, I don't like it, where you can, like, okay, if you, like, set it down, okay, you're being weird, okay, if you, like, set it down somewhere, the box will go, or, the box will go down in the lid, but if you're, like, pressing, like, if you're holding it on the bottom, then, like, the box is shorter than the lid, <laughs> so it, like, pushes it in, and you have this weird little cave thing. I think that's really weird. I don't know why that happens. Maybe so um, they can make sure like stuff fits because the cards are... I don't know. So maybe so you can like get these get these out because the cards are like just barely taller than the box. I don't know. Whatever. It's just kind of weird to me, but I, I don't know. They probably have some reason for it. But yeah, um, I haven't done any of the stuff I was supposed to do, like my math and my language arts and stuff, and the thing for Allison, for the Allison video. Well, I mean, I got a good start on that. I just have to do like the final thingy, and I have to do stuff. Yeah. Um. But that will be around soonish, maybe. Anyway, well, 
you got the curl secret video yesterday. So that's your extra video. And I wanna do that logo video sometime soonish, but I don't know when. But maybe that's just because I feel like filming today. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I'll check up on you guys later. Hi. I tried to be but uh, oh crap. It's all dark and sad. I tried to be bunny with a sassy bun, but like it didn't work. Now I just have a giant pile of hair on my head. And it's not even like on my head, it's just like over there. Like why's why are you going over there? Well yeah. I don't know. It failed, but it was. I mean it's on my face I guess, but it was before because I had it in the Get on the other side of my freaking head, boy. Um, but yeah, no, I hate this. Kind of a thing with buns, uh, because of this one person, because they were a toxic friend, and they wore their hair in a bun literally every single day of their life, pretty much. Pretty much, like of like the sixty days of trimester, she would wear her hair in a bun for like. 58 of them. I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> and the other two days she would curl her hair. And that's all she ever did. So I kind of have this thing with buns where I don't really like them anymore. Thanks a lot, friend, that literally wore nothing other than buns and was horrible. If you want to wear the same thing every day, do what you want, because I cannot. I, I, that'd be very hypocritical of me, because I wear a flannel pretty much every day unless I'm wearing this jacket or like some other jacket because I'm cold. Okay, bye Wiley. Thanks for opening the door. I actually really like this thing. I should film more videos from my bed. And that window doesn't ruin the lighting as much and it also has blinds, but maybe that's just because it's kind of dark and gloomy today or maybe it's because it's 4.17. Um, you know, I actually quite like this angle. Usually I film uh, from gotta do a backflip over my dog. Usually I come from over here and I have to stand up because it's over at my keyboard. And get kind of this where I basically cover up all the things that you might actually want to look at because all you can see is doors and like a little bit of stuff on the edges. But over here you can see like I can put oh belly stink. Um, I'll let her out in a minute. You can see, like, I can put something on my TV, and I have, like, 10 million posters. That's just stuff that I did good on to make me feel good. I never look at it, though, so it doesn't really do its job, so now it's just kind of a space filler. Um, if I get more drawings to put up, maybe once I finish this next sketchbook, because I have been putting my sketchbook drawings right here. One, two, that's the newest one, three, four... All the new ones are mostly there, though, because Homestuck. And there's one right there. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll start filming from my bed more. Because then I don't have to stand up. Or, like, kneel on a chair or something. But I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to let the dog out. And also, my tower has died a couple times, so I'm going to hurry up. I want to hurry up and finish it this weekend. So it stops falling over, because it has been doing that a lot, and I have to rebuild it. But yeah, I'm gonna let the dog out. Be back in a minute. Want one, because I like collecting hoodies and jackets, that's kind of what I do now. Here, let me pull out my bucket of jackets. And this isn't all my jackets, obviously. This is, this is, these are just the ones that still fit me. Okay. And these are like jacket. Well, not actually coats, because I don't like coats. Coats are too heavy. I just like wearing, like, instead of wearing a coat, I just like wearing, like, three jackets. <laughs> Literally, the, the, uh, a week. Like, sometime over our winter break, I fell asleep. And I, I'm not that cold of a person. I'm usually not too cold. Um, oh, I also, I also started, like, a small collection of, like, scarves and hats and stuff, because I have, like, Puppy hat, lost the original one, but I got a new one and a different little puppy hat with shorter strings. I only go to like hand and little paws. 
Um, the other one goes down to like past my hair length and I can put my hands in them. And then I have this pink scarf and it's pink with like blue and purple hearts. And it's an infinity scarf and I got it from Justice Forever Go. And then this is something my dad gave me. Um, but yeah, I, that's just kind of a thing I have. And now I have this, I have a flannel scarf. You've seen it before. Anyways, um, so first there's this hoodie where I saw on some website, I forgot what it was. Um, but they're like, here, here's this hoodie and it's like black with white text and it's like, and it said, I'm freaking cold in, um, just white. And it was like 20, 30 bucks. Okay. And I ain't for, paying for that. So I have this teen shirt making kit thing that I got. I don't even know when, but I have it, and it's, I don't even know what kind it is, but whatever, it had the, it's like the googie gook, where, uh, old, old graphic tees would be made with it, and you would always have a sweat pattern in the pattern that's on your shirt, because it, it wasn't breathable through the googie googie, but that doesn't matter if it's a hoodie, um, so, I got some, so I got an $8 men's hoodie, of Amazon because that's the one that was cheapest and also I wanted it in purple and also I wanted a really baggy one because there was also little kid ones that were like or not little kids just kid ones that were pretty cheap but I wanted it baggy <laughs> and if I got the biggest size in children then it wouldn't even be that baggy it'd just be like maybe a little baggy so I got this, I got like a small in men's, I believe. I don't remember. And then I got some stencils because my t-shirt maker thing came with a bunch of like stencil design things. Because you're supposed to just like put the plastic freaking stencil on there and then fill in all of the gookie. And you just slide the gookie all over the stencil. Um, but... I wanted to spell stuff out and they didn't come with the letter stencils because they're stupid so I bought those for like three dollars um and this is what we have and it looks okay it looked really trash when I did the letters you probably can't see anything okay then I'm ordering I know the there we go Okay, and that's the lettering, and I didn't look that good. So I'm like, okay, so I'll just put paint sl splatters all over the entire hoodie. Not even, I just kind of paint splattered around. So it's like, oh, it's supposed to be all messy. And that's why it has paint splatters on it. And also, um, I got some in art. This is in seventh grade. I wore this for like two thirds of the year, basically. Every day. Every day. <laughs> Mm, I think I got some, like, mascara or something. Mm, my wear decked. Uh, suffering. Ow, 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 ow. Um, forgot what I was talking about. Anyways, I got, oh yeah, I got, where's it? I got some random brown paint and stuff on it from my art project last year, so. That's what happened to that. Anyways, I talked about that hoodie for too long. Oh, here's this pink and blue scarf. I wore it straight for like three years or so. And that's it's all like matted down and it has like three different holes in it. Here's one. Um, yeah, but I wore this like every day. Like I literally, if I went to school without it, I'd get really sad and I'd like call my mom. And I'd be like, mom, bring my scarf. Which I basically never forgot it because it was like, part of me like I would fall asleep in the scarf a lot of times actually <laughs> I would fall asleep in the scarf I would also fall asleep in that hoodie but this was for like years <laughs> okay that hoodie was like not even a year oh this this is just a random cardigan type soft thingy but it's comfy and it's warm I should wear this more anyways haven't worn this ever because I have too many jackets anyways um it has a little thing on it yeah it has this on it 
And I got this when I was like back to school clothes shopping. And I haven't worn it. I wore it I wore it like oh no, I wore it to the sand dunes. And that's it. <laughs> Sorry, jacket. I'll wear you more eventually. And this, I also got back to school shopping. But I actually wore this one, you can tell, because the sleeves are, like, not not really white anymore. Um, and I wear this every day. This was before I vlogged or... Really did YouTube... Do YouTube as much? Because in 7th grade, I just did, like, Instagram drawing stuff. And then I think... I don't know when I started doing YouTube, because I had this channel just as a personal account since my last account died for reasons uh, in, like, sixth grade. Um, and then I didn't do it in seventh grade, and I it started up sometime in eighth grade. Early on, I think. Early eighth grade. Oh, and this is from when it was tied around my waist and the hood, like, and I was on my bike, so the tire, like stained it or whatever you know anyways i wear this like every day um and i guess a bit in the no no that was being in school yeah um but i wear this at the beginning of eighth grade before i got my flannel which was like late first try and then this is a pom-pom that i got from the dollar no no this came with a dress <laughs> um and there's a little keychain thing and the keychain broke, and I meant to fix it, but then I never did. Because I put it on my backpack, and then it broke. And then I'm like, I want to start collecting keychains. And I kind of did. I have, like, no, I have one keychain on my backpack, and I have, like, a bunch of tags from that look kind of nice tied together. But in order to tie them onto my backpack, I needed to bend them in half, so they aren't as good anymore, but whatever. There they are. Um, yeah, but I used to have that on my backpack. And I thought I had more. But I just have a small collection. Oh, and I also have this one, which, um, one year, my grandparents own a cabin in Bear Lake. Um, and one year, when we went to Bear Lake for 4th of July, that's why it's all American flaggy, um, I forgot to bring a jacket, which is, like, a big deal. <laughs> kind of need a jacket. I need to do the outro, so I stopped talking. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my Instagram down below. I do drawings and stuff, which this started back in 7th grade, because I'm talking about stuff that happened in the past. But, um, that's when I started it, and don't go back that far, because they're all really bad, please. So, uh, um, but some of my more recent ones are not crin as cringeworthy. Um, check out my Twitter down below, where you can, you know, find out what happened if it's fairly recent. Um, and also... It's the best way, place to contact me, either that or Instagram. Um, YouTube comments sometimes get lost. I will try to, I always try to respond to them though. Just sometimes it gives me a notification and sometimes it just randomly doesn't give me a notification and then someone commented on my video and I don't know because YouTube didn't give me a notification. Um, sometimes they send me random emails about it too, like they'll be like, Sometimes we don't give you any notification, but sometimes we'll give you a notification and an email and, like, hack into your phone and tell you, Hey, someone commented on your video. <laughs> I, I don't understand how they decide which ones I get an email about and which ones they're just like, nah, we don't care about those. Uh, and also you can check out my main channel where I do music stuff. Um, and also I have another question that's kind of like bunny. Bunny slash graveyard girl also asked this question in one of her videos, but um, is it annoying if I ask for likes? Because uh, I feel like what I said on her video is um, uh, like I commented, um, I said well, uh, I've tuned out. Like I'm to the point where I've tuned out whenever someone asks me for likes at the end of videos and stuff, and even in the beginning, I'm just like. You know, it doesn't affect me anymore. Um, and, but if I, like, sometimes when I'm watching a video, like, on my TV or on my lap, or even on my phone, when I'm watching a video, I don't really want to stop and go like it, because I'm like, oh, I like this video. 
Now, Michael K. I'll remember to like it at the end, but a lot of times I forget. But if a YouTuber mentions, like, oh yeah, leave a like in this video, I'm like, oh yeah, I was gonna do that. So I'm like, oh yeah, go ahead and ask for likes, because it doesn't really bother me when you do. And sometimes it actually helps. So, let me know what you think about that. Me doing that. Um, and this video is gonna be, like, 40 minutes long, I'm so sorry. Uh... Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!